After we have built our model, we can begin setting and defining the analysis steps. Going to the main toolbar, let's click on the Analysis tab, which houses the tools for analysis. The first step is to set the recorder. To do so, we'll click New Step and change the name to Record. Then, we'll click Model, Recorders, MPCO Recorder. First, we'll specify the name. Then, we'll choose the node of results we want to obtain by checking the boxes on the list. Users can then also set the time options, and then we'll continue checking the boxes of the element results we wish to obtain. Users can also set custom element results. Before you click OK, make sure you've named the recorder, otherwise it won't be recognized. The next step is setting the patterns. The first steps are the same. Click New and name the step. Then click Model, Patterns, Add Pattern, Constraint Pattern. Then we'll define the constraint pattern to be used in the analysis. The constraint pattern sets the constraint types used, either single point or multi point. Clicking SP, then the ellipsis button opens the editor. We can input the number of rows, which will provide a drop down menu where we can select a previous set vector. Here we can choose the fixed condition. Once all SP and MP vectors are set, click OK. The next step is to set the load pattern, which is also related to the previous settings. Like usual, we'll name it, then click Model, Patterns, Add Pattern, and then Load Pattern. First, we'll set the tag, in other words, the time series, and the drop down menu gives us the possible options. Here it's the definition we set. Then load or insert force, which opens the index vector editor. Here we won't set any. Then ELE load. Here we'll create one row, which gives us the option of adding the load we can create it as a condition. SP means we insert the displacement on a single point. We won't set one or choose a minus fact. Once these are set, we can move on to the analysis step. STKO offers two valid analysis types, static for static analysis and transient for dynamic analysis. Once again, click New and we'll name this Step 1. Then we'll choose Model, Analyses, Analyses Command. First, we'll set the analysis type, here static. Then the items for each analysis should be determined in this order. Analysis type, constraints, number, system, algorithm, test, integrator, analyze. You can also activate a variable option within a transient analysis by checking the box. Then you can choose the constraint kind, number, type, the algorithm options, and you can also insert the number of analysis steps that you desire. OpenSeas uses Eigen commands to reform the analysis and generate Eigen values. To learn more, see the link to the OpenSeas Berkeley website. It is important to respect the order of elements in the work tree. The recorder must go first, then the various patterns, and the analysis step goes last. You can use the up and down arrows to move items to reorder them if necessary. Now we have our model and analysis steps set. It is very important to mesh the model before running the analysis. We'll set and assign the global edge seed, then the edge seed. We'll set the mesh controls and then build the mesh. Now let's look at how to manage solvers. Moving back to the Analysis tab, the Solver Kits command lets the user set and manage the solvers. STKO's Auto Detect function 
will automatically find available solvers and list them. You can also manually input solvers. OpenC0 uses one processor. OpenC's MP solver means that the number of implied processors is automatically defined by STKO according to the number of partitions. OpenC's SP does the partition internally. Therefore, in STKO, you should not use the partition command when you can choose the number of processors in the Analysis tab. We'll choose OpenC0. The selected solver and number of processors will appear on the main toolbar. The next step is to write the input file, which will generate seven TQL files to be solved. These files are the description of the model that allows them to be solved. They are main.tcl, definitions.tcl, materials.tcl, sections.tcl, nodes.tcl, analysis steps.tcl, and elements.tcl. Let's quickly look at an example of the information that's stored in these different file types. The final step is to run the analysis. STKO automatically writes the input files and calls the selected sol solver. Select the folder, and the analysis will run. Be patient while it's running. This will generate the seven TCL files, an MPCO C data file, and an MPCO file. The MPCO C data file holds all the data of the model. The MPCO file holds the solution to the model, and this is the one that opens as a database in the post processor.